This example is like problem two in the exam review. <clears throat> According to the Internal Revenue Service, the proportion of federal tax returns filed late was P equal 0 0.052. Uh, tax officials draw a simple sample of N equal 200 tax returns, and we're rounding our answers to four decimal places if necessary. So here we're dealing with proportions, and normally that would be binomial distribution, but we'd like to approximate with the normal distribution. So uh, first of all, here our P is 0 0.052, and N is 200. And in order to see if the normal approximation is appropriate, we have to look at N times P and N times 1 minus P. So 200 times 0.052, 0.052 is equal to 10.4. And the important thing is that is greater than or equal to 10. And n times 1 minus p, so that's going to be 200 times 1 minus the 0.052. And let's go ahead and key that in. So 10, uh, or I'm sorry, here, 200. And then we're multiplying by 1 minus 0.052. 189.5. So that's 189.6, which is also greater than or equal 10. So as long as both of those products are greater than or equal 10, then that satisfies the requirements for a normal approximation. So if either one is less than 10, then you can't use the normal approximation. So uh, given that we're using the normal approximation, the mean of the sampling distribution of p hat, mu sub p hat, is just p, which is 0 0.052. And that'll be the mean in normal CDF. And then the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat is p1 minus p over n square root. So we want square root, uh, p is 0 0.052 times 1 minus 0 0.052. And we're dividing by 200. So let's key that into the calculator. So we'll get a square root here. I'm going to do alpha y equal enter to get a horizontal fraction inside there. So 0 0.052 parentheses 1 minus 0 0.052 close parentheses downstairs 200. So 0 0.0157. So that's our standard deviation when we use normal CDF. So we want to know um, what is the probability that the sample proportion of tax returns filed late is greater than 0 0.07, so greater than 7% uh, filed late. So that's asking us uh, what is the probability that P, actually sample proportion, would, would actually be P hat uh, is greater than 0 0.07. So uh, we want to use normal CDF here. And then uh, our lower cutoff is going to be 0 0.07. And our upper cutoff is infinity. We'll use 10,000. Our mean of the distribution is 0 0.052. And then our standard deviation 0.0157. So go to the calculator, second variables, normal CDF is 2. So our lower here is 0 0.07, upper 10,000, our mean 0 0.052, and then our standard deviation was 0 0.0157. So 0.1258 to four decimal places. So that means that 12.58% uh, of the tax returns would be 12.58%. Uh, uh, that's the probability um, 
that a tax return would be filed late. I'm sorry, uh, that would be the, the proportion filed late would be greater than 0 0.07. Next, they ask us what's the probability that the sample proportion, that's p hat, of tax returns filed late is between 4 and 6 uh, percent. So uh, that's saying what is the probability here that p hat is between 0 0.04 and 0 0.06. So we're using normal approximation again. So 0.04 is our lower cutoff, comma, 0.06 is our upper, and then mean and standard deviation are the same as they were in the first part, 0.052 and 0.0157. And so let's go ahead and key that in. So second variables, normal CDF is number two, 0 0.04 to 0 0.06, mean and standard deviation stay the same. So 0.4725. So there's a 47.25% chance that the proportion of tax returns filed late is between 4 and 6%. And then lastly, what's the probability that the sample proportion uh, filed late is less than 0.02? So less than, I'll be probability that p hat is less than 0.02. So uh, again here, uh, if we draw our, our sampling distribution here, the mean in the middle is 0.052. And so 0.02 is going to be here to the left. And we want to know what, what is the probability that your sample proportion is less than 0 0.02, so to the left. So we want that area to the left. So our lower cutoff is negative infinity. We'll use negative 10,000. Uh, our upper cutoff, 0 0.02. And then mean and standard deviation, we're the same as the other two parts, 0 0.052, 0 0.0157. So let's go ahead and enter this in. So second variables. We want number two, and our lower cutoff, uh, negative 10,000, upper 0 0.02, everything else stays the same. 0 0.0208, 0 0.0208. So 2.08% 2 .8, 2 .08 chance that the sample proportion of returns filed late would be less than 2%. So uh, this is for normal approximation again. You know, we're dealing with sample proportion. That's that keyword, sample proportion, which is telling you use the sampling distribution to approximate. But always uh, check these first, especially if they ask. And then the last part here, they ask, uh, would it be unusual if the sample proportion of tax returns filed late was less than 0 0.02? Well, we already found the probability that uh, the sample proportion was less than 0 0.02. That's 0 0.02, uh, 0 0.0208. And what we notice about that is it's less than 0 0.05. That's unusual. So it would be unusual if the sample proportion of tax returns filed late was less than 0 0.02, since that probability is 0 0.0208, which is less than 0 0.05. So the 0 0.0208 is what goes in the blank.